call the select board meeting to order. Uh, we have, let's see, we have the select board, we have Vic Dwyer, we have Bill McManus, and we have George Longenecker and Elias Gardner. Elias. So welcome everyone. And uh, any amendments to the agenda, Sarah? Uh, no, not really. We're just bringing that thing up about the uh, building efficiently from the energy committee. We're bringing that up under correspondence and Mitch has something to say about that. Okay. But he's not going to chime in. Okay. That's Mitch is not here though, is he? I am. No. Sarah, uh, by the way, I'm really delighted that you weren't sick with COVID and it was just you were fatigued from doing such a great job with the elections. Well, thank you, Mary. I guess I'll start the recording now. <laughs> you, could say, you could start the recording then you can then we could say we're glad to see you back sarah right yeah the recording's on so you can say it again mary no. <laughs> nope. oh sarah i'm so glad you don't have covid you were just exhausted from doing such a great job running the elections oh, well, very thank you, well mary. very well said mary thank you um so with that we'll move right into our budget workshop and up at the head of the line is the highway department and Sarah is going to put that budget document up on the screen so we'll be able to see it. Well, okay, just it, it doesn't work as perfectly really the person who should be putting it on the screen is the person who is explaining the budget, but right. I'll tell you what I've done. I have emailed this budget to everyone. I've also put it on the Middlesex website and uh, so that there are links so everyone can see those budgets. And I sent one copy to Vic Dwyer. So as far as I can see, everybody here should have a copy of the budget. Does anyone not have a copy of that? No. Okay. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So Steve, you're up. I am? <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> I uh, prepared the budget, these, uh, Percent change numbers may be off a little bit uh, one way or another. I didn't readjust those after I went over it again today. Uh, but overall, the, the budget increased by $7,000, which is like less than 1%. Um, less than a half a percent, I think. But anyway. Um, 0.9. Thank you. <laughs> You got it right handy, didn't you? Yes, I did. Okay. So uh, starting off with, uh, you've got the, the sheet there. We'll just, we can go down item by item, but winter maintenance um, it decreased uh, on the overall budget uh, because, of the, because of the sand. Uh, we still have sand to do, and I've got that in there. Uh, we're going to have this sand screened, um, and then we'll have some trucking in there also, but uh, we're taking on a third of the trucking. Normally, we haul about a thousand yards when we're hauling it from other places, but this time we're hauling it from our pits, a shorter uh, haul, but I've got our two trucks and hiring four trucks, so overall, that that budget went down uh, by 20,000, 25,000. <laughs> so, Don't get too excited yet. Wait till the next line. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm just hoping that Dorinda's, Dorinda's making comments. <laughs> I make comments. Oh, I thought you went, woo. <laughs> Not me. So uh, next we have uh, the summer maintenance. Um, Going down the sheet, I mean, uh, let's see, uh, stone line ditching, I increased that. Um, I increased uh, uh, some of our hay mulch and netting for some of the work that we'll be doing. So that increased a little bit. Road Where, gravel. Are you still on the page? I'm, I'm lost. Summer maintenance. Summer, We're on oh, page three. Okay, it's okay, gotcha. Mark page three. Page three of the detail, Mary. They're all marked in the upper okay. right. Yeah. Yep. 
Are you with us? Yep. Okay. So on the road gravel, uh, we've got a lot of resurfacing to do. But um, so anyway, I, I figured out uh, some stuff for road gravel. Our road gravel increased uh, substantially, and I'm up at uh, 27,000 for road mm -hmm. gravel, buying it from two different sources. Uh, one of the reasons for the sources, uh, McCullough has some really good gravel. His is a little more expensive, and I've got Varens in here also. Their gravel is pretty good. It's very clean, but it's not good for hills. It's good for the flatter areas, so that's why I've got two different gravels in there. Uh, roadside mowing went down uh, from what we had budgeted last year, uh, but also last year uh, we only used one mowing, and I've got it in here for two mowings. Uh, that's what we had been doing before, which is uh, quite a bit better. Um, chloride. Uh, increasing with uh, putting the stuff on the roads, we're going to end up using more of the chloride. So I've increased that. That was an increase of 36%. Uh, went from 16,000 to 21,840. Um, rental equipment. Last year we had a, a miscellaneous thing in here for fifteen hundred. Um, I've got it in here this year for a saw. And um, when when we're doing some of our work last year, we rented a light base. I don't know, Phil. You might have seen it when we were working up here under the guardrails. We had that light system. That means I can use the whole crew. We don't have to. It was cheaper than hiring the flaggers. So yeah. I've got that in there for that. Uh, tree service. Uh, we've got several trees that we need to have down. Something we can't or I don't want us to do it. Uh, we need that, that professionals to at least take them down and then just leave everything bulk right there and 10 foot lengths and whatever. Uh, we can take care of that. So I've got an amount in, in there for that. Uh, there was a substantial increase from $1,000 we had last year to five this year. Uh, green up is the same. We have our stormwater discharge fee. Um, emergency road repairs, it was in there as emergency. I put it as unforeseen and I put a $5,000 figure in there that takes care of these little things where you're not gonna get reimbursed for it. You've got a quick little storm, wipes out a culvert or two or something like that. Um, okay, and that, so that, uh, the summer maintenance increased by 36.9%. Uh, uh, and, and as I said, some of my percent figures may be off a little bit, but Dorinda will correct me on those. Then we're on to equipment maintenance, sheet five. Um, I left the equipment repairs the same, uh, the parts and supplies the same as last year, the plow and sander equipment the same, the bulk oil and the DEF for the trucks the same. Inspections went up a little bit by a hundred bucks and then tires, I bumped that up by a thousand dollars for the tires that we're going to have to get. So that took care of that and that was a on the equipment maintenance was a 2% increase. And then we come to the specialized services, which we haven't used. That's at $40,000 for truck rental, um, renting an excavator and wages for hiring somebody to run the excavator. We will be using a portion of that. Uh, I, I don't think we'll use it all. We may, but I don't think we will. Uh, we'll be using a portion of that anyway for some ditching uh, once we get through mud season. So in this same category, Steve, excuse me. Yeah. So you're talking about using what's in this year's budget that we haven't yet spent. That's correct. Right. This is this is for. Well, that, I was just explaining what was there right. for last year, and then for this year, um, for this budget that I've just prepared. <laughs> Uh, I put ditching in there, but I put it in as a subcontract instead of doing it like I did before and just doing, a, a <clears throat> excuse me, a small amount. Um, so my intent would be that we start uh, sometime mid 
June or so, do some ditching and then let it go right through and do some more ditching, which would come into this budget. So that would be my plan on that. And then I also put a little mud mitigation in here uh, of $20,000. And also I put that under subcontract. Um, so anyway, from last year to this year, it was a decrease uh, by 18.7% in that category. So I'm sorry, I just have a question. So you're you're saying ditching includes mud mitigation and um, ditching? No, I got it. If you look at that sheet, Liz. Yeah. That's in front of you. I got two different areas there. I put down a ditching subcontract, twelve thousand five hundred. Yeah. Mud mitigation subcontract, equipment only of twenty thousand. The two combined comes to thirty two five. But you're saying. Are you saying, but the 40,000 that is from last year is that special 40,000 that we talked about at town meeting, right? That's correct. And I put this stuff in that same special services. Okay. So this is special. So I'm services. using that I header see. for ongoing and it may come back to this same thing that we had last year or it may not, I, whatever, but that's where I put it. Yep. Okay. Uh, garage maintenance, uh, shop supplies, uh, that went up a little bit, a couple hundred dollars. Uh, waste disposal went up like 3%. Um, air gas services stays the same. Uh, fuel tank maintenance. Um, I, I put $2,500, we had $1,000 for maintenance last year. I put uh, $2,500 in here. We need a roof over that thing. And I think we can get part of that roof done uh, with that money or at least all framed up for that money. And garage door maintenance, I left the same. Office supplies and miscellaneous, I left the same. Small two purchase. Um, okay, small two purchase. Uh, Besides the small tools that we use normally end up getting, I put in here uh, building a table uh, for the chain repair. Uh, right now, the, the guys do the chain repair on the floor. They're bent over. They, and they'll spend a whole day doing it, more than one day, but they'll spend a whole day doing it. And then for the next two days, nobody can really walk around very good. <laughs> it's really hard on the back, and it's not good for us. And we're going to end up in a workman's comp thing. Anyway, they talked about a table. They do have those tables out there. You can't find them anywhere. However, I've got somebody that uh, I think we can build one. And so that's what I have that money in there for. Uh, the next one is utilities. That one is uh, pretty straightforward. No changes. I left everything the same electricity, the heat, and the phone internet. Uh, gas and diesel. Um, I'm at the same place I was last year. Uh, for the money, uh, the way we had figured this stuff and the price on the gallons of, of fuel, it's down right now. I don't know what it is going to do. Um, it's down right now from what I've got in here, but uh, I, I think we're we're covered for the deep, for the fuel uh, anyway. So that stayed the same. Uh, wages and benefits. Um, what I went over everything with Dorinda, and it's basically a two percent increase uh, over everything. Um, and I think all the figures that Dorinda might will be checking some of these figures for the FICA and all of that stuff. Uh, we went over a couple of them, changed it, but it's an increase of 2% overall. Um, highway miscellaneous. I don't know how I got that category, but it did. Culverts. Uh, I increased our culverts. We've got uh, we've got a few more culverts that we need to change. 
And so I, I increased that budget uh, by a couple of thousand dollars for culverts. Uh, signs, uh, increase that just a little bit. We've got two more years of signs to get um, and uh, to, to get everything back up to the standards they're supposed to be at. Uh, bridge fund stayed the same, put 6,000 in the bridge fund, put 30,000 in the paving fund. Uh, equipment purchase. I had put here the purchase of a cutoff saw uh, with the blades. Uh, it would end up being a diamond blade so that we could uh, cut or like on cut a piece of guardrail out or, or, or cut in the concrete, whatever we need to do there. So that was an increase. I went from 1,500 to 2,500. Uh, then there's uh, the last item down there is uh, uh, building fund, the town garage building fund of $5,000. This will be the this will be the third year we've done that. And so that overall budget was an increase of 5.6%. And then I went into construction. Um, this construction can cover various different things, but um, we've got gravel in there again. It isn't a huge amount of gravel, but there's gravel in there, ditch stone, hydro seating, um, ledge removal, erosion matting, and uh, the mud mitigation. Now that's where the mud mitigation was in before, which we had done. I put that mud mitigation is in that special services area. Mm -hmm. So that went down. So this overall uh, budget of the construction went down by 27% when we went from 23,250 to 16,930. So overall, um, all those figures, uh, I, I, Dorinda will correct me, I'm sure, but uh, we went up, like I said, about $7,000 from 729.81 to 727.501. Huh. Very nice job, Steve. Very well broken out. Thank you. I only have one bad question. Go ahead. Did we determine that we have a big truck we're purchasing this next year? Okay, that, that's a that's a good point. And I no, we are not purchasing a, a large truck this year. We just that's one that needs to be replaced is the one we just put seventy thousand dollars in, and we bought a three-year service warranty. warranty on that. So that truck would end up being in, I don't have that sheet in front of me, but that truck would end up being fiscal year 23. Um, That's what yes. you wrote on it. Yep. Yeah. This fiscal year, thank you, Dorinda. Fiscal year 23, um, we do need to do a greater, but that will end up being in fiscal year 22. Am I correct on that? Well, it depends when you buy it. So if we were to buy it in after July 1, then it wouldn't go in until the 20, it wouldn't go in until the 23 budget, the 23, 24 so the budget. 20... Oh, so okay. any, anything you buy after July 1, you don't pay on it until a year later. So if okay. we were to so buy it after would... July, it would be the following year. Yeah, that's assuming we don't make any kind of a down payment. Right. Right. Is the existing grader worth anything? Um, it's it's worth something, uh, but we won't get a lot for it. That's yeah. for sure. It's too worn out. Right. Um, and so anyway, it, on the only thing that uh, I didn't uh, talk about was uh, We've got to replace a pickup, a pickup, one large truck and a grader. And the way I did this, and Dorinda, you can correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't have that paper in front of me, but it's, we'd do this in three different years. And what my intent would be, the pickup was going to be this next year, but I, what I'll do is we will do that in this fiscal year. I think we can do that with that, um, $30,000 extra that we got from our highway fund. 
or or whatever but I, that would be my proposal is that we could replace the pickup this year the grader would go into the following year and then the following year would be the big truck and then from what i looked at in the thing we don't have two units to replace in any one year so we're thinking just going on the conversations you and i've had we're thinking the net cost to that grader is going to be roughly two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, right? Two fifty to three hundred, yes. Um, excuse me. Um, the plan would be, I believe, to do that over ten years. Yes. So you know, we'd be looking at a a twenty five thousand dollar payment a year from this July, something like that. Yeah. Um, not in this, not in this year's, not in this year's budget. And that's, and that's assuming we get 40 or $50,000 for our existing grader, right? Yeah. I don't think you'll get 40 or 50,000 for our grader. Well, I heard, the, I heard Dorinda wanted to buy it because she wanted to use it to go get her groceries with. Yeah. But she was only offering a hundred dollars. Oh, oh. <laughs> she's not listening. I am listening. <laughs> she's not paying attention. But she's listening. I thought we just got that pickup truck. Has it been that long? Yes, it has. How many years have we had it? Six. No kidding, huh? The only reason I said I wasn't going to do that, but after looking at the, the equipment schedule, it made sense to be able to get that vehicle and then get every, so that we're not trying to purchase two items or two pieces of equipment in the same year. So you're saying pick up in this fiscal year, next year greater and next year, in, greater in the, in the budget we're talking about now. And then the year after that, the big truck. Uh, no. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Yes, that's when we would get them. The payments wouldn't be for the following year. You yeah. also, you one of your your 2018 dump truck. The last payment is in FY 24, and that's when I believe you would be starting to pay for the grader if you were Correct. or. So Correct. that's one payment would be dropping off, and you would be picking up another one. The uh, the other big truck does not drop off until FY 26. So um, you would have um, a couple of, and that's when you're scheduled to replace the loader. Maybe we can put the loader off for a year. Well, we may be able to. I mean, the loader's in good shape. I mean, it's. it's 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 been a good loader but it, it is what it is i mean you have to use it just so much and well we just don't want to get you know what scares me is when we have a situation with that like we did with that truck motor when all of a sudden we have a 65 or seventy thousand dollar bill yeah but, well i mean that truck is older i'd like in a way but we but we paid for that uh, warranty on that thing. Yep. So, I mean, and with that transmission in there and everything that we've done to that truck, I just, it, we might as well throw 70,000 right out the window if we traded it right off. Yep. All right. Oh, great. I agree. Questions, select board, budget committee. I have one. Well, actually, a couple of things. I, we we really haven't had a discussion about wage increases. Correct. Um, and I know Steve used the the two, but I get a little concerned about whether or not that's enough for us to retain um, people. And kind of the same discussion we've had, you know, in other years about you know not not churning through staff. But uh, we we can talk about that as we get along here. Uh, the other question I have, and, and I guess I'm, I'm thinking back to, you know, last spring, is there any way that we could consider starting 
to peel up some of this tar off of <laughs> Center Road. Funny yeah. that you should ask about that. I, um, I've got that in my radar because I think okay. that if we can make it through this spring without having to put gravel on top of that blacktop so people can get through, yeah. um, my intent would be that sometime during this year we'll probably take it up on the other side of the culvert past Kroll's house and rip it up all the way past the farm here. Okay. Um, because that is the worst part and just put that back to gravel, at least we'll be able to maintain it. Yep. I mean, if we got our paving grant, we'd be doing that anyway, but. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. that is paving my grant, this is really bad. Likely, you know, yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's good it. news, yeah. Um, Steve, can you hear me? Yep. Um, I, I just delete, I not deleted it, but I shut down the, the budget, but the section, could you repeat again where you were saying how you had to buy like sort of twice as much gravel, one was from McCullough and one was from another company um, and why you had to buy twice as much? Why increase? Because we need to resurface roads. And oh, that's what I thought, all right. Yeah, we need to resurface those roads and mm -hmm. that gravel isn't gonna go very far. Right, I know. Um, we, we bought quite a bit of gravel from uh, McCullough, um, for McCullough Hill Road uh, this year. And uh, we went over our budget substantially, but we couldn't just stop there in the middle. And we didn't do the entire road. We got up past Vic's house, um, almost to the top of the hill. Um, and we did uh, Upper Barnett uh, because we were working on that road too. So anyway this that's what that budget is for is to increase that gravel um good hey steve yes no. yeah i just curious uh do they still have the bridge and culvert program with the state and the paving program the grant programs uh they do have some grants we've applied for the grants yeah I just wondered if they still had those programs. I used to be in charge of them. That's why I asked. Oh, <laughs> yes, and we've and we've applied. Yeah. Okay. Um. Liz, did you have something? No, I started mumbling to myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. When you mumble, the picture comes up. <laughs> too, many Zoom, too many Zoom meetings. I, you you can't. You don't even know. So oh, Steve, I, are, are those... I had a new yes. I had a new record the other day. I had six Zoom meetings in one day. Oh, that's horrible. By the end, my brain was so fried, I didn't know which meeting I was in. Yeah, that's that's terrible. George, George, grant yeah, applications yeah. pending for paving or or culverts. We have grant applications out there right now for, for either paving or culverts. There, we've got an application in for paving um, out there right now. We it'll be the I think this will probably be the third year we've applied uh -huh. for this section of road. Um, so I don't know where it's going to go or what's going to happen, but I'm I'm kind of going in the direction that we probably won't get any grant this year again. And if that's the case, then we'll have to do portion of this road, like what we just talked about, rip it up and put it back to gravel so we can maintain it. I mean, it is when you, when you think about it, and I know we've had this discussion before, having that one little, whatever it is, 1.2 mile section paved when all the rest of our roads are gravel is a little crazy. It's one thing it's one thing if the state is helping us maintain it, but if they're not helping us maintain it, um, I mean, we could spend, we, we estimated what, Steve, to redo that road properly, to dig it up and get the good sub base under it, it'd be over a million dollars, right? I would think so. Yeah. That's, 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 almost, that's almost our entire town budget, just yeah. to put it in perspective. So I don't think we're going to be doing that. No, we can't do anything with it without without a grant. Any questions? Any okay, Steve, thank you very much. That's a really good uh, 
nice really good job. job. And I do agree job. with I do agree with Phil. I'm just I'm just presuming that we're putting the wage discussion off until our budget discussion in January. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll also add because we just put in as a placeholder like Paul's wages because we don't have anybody there. So we just left that number in place. Yeah. So there is a whole discussion needed around not just the highway department, I think several departments. Right. So, oh, I agree. Um, so I think that that's just a placeholder. Right. Okay. Those and, and just on that, I, I had done something a little different uh, on on a wage increase for the highway department, but after I went over everything with Dorinda, I mean, her just putting that two percent in took care of everything that I was talking about. Anyway, so uh, that can be of a, a discussion for another day. But as far as budget is concerned, this figure should cover everything, right, Dorinda? Well, it wouldn't, it doesn't cover, if you're trying to do the wage increase you were talking about, it doesn't cover it if we um, add on back in the other person. It only covers it if you keep that, you know, the way it is now. Because right. Paul's, Paul's figure is just in there as a placeholder. So you're using right, some of yes, that money. But I think that but overall, those figures, when I had done my original figures, and then after you and I went through the thing, you were pretty near the same figure same I was at. Yeah. So, okay. Any news on that front, though, Steve? No, not, not yet. Okay, so, Conservation Commission. Hello. Hi, I'm I'm here. I had to step away to take care of the dog. So oh, yes. I'm taking off my budget hat and putting on my conservation cap. <laughs> Not, pretty small uh, request compared to public works. Five hundred dollars, the same as last year, and 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 the same basic categories. We did finish the kiosk with last year's money, and and. Uh, We'll be working on trail signs this year, assuming that, assuming things get back to normal and we can get out and do trail work. And the other money is the, as we noted, is the special article. We're not sure how much we're going to request for that, but that doesn't come under this budget. But this is probably the time you're thinking, five thousand. Uh, we we have to discuss it at our next meeting. We might ask for less. Okay. Okay. Any questions for the uh, Conservation Commission? Sir, sure. can I just quickly um, just give an update from uh, the last meeting we had about the fire department? and that I got in touch with um, some representative of the, the FEMA grants for, for, fire, for volunteer firefighters. And he said there's another round of grants opening at the end of, uh, the end of November where the fire department, or I guess us on behalf of the fire department can apply for those air tanks. Hmm. So it's kind of a pain because it's a FEMA grant, but I can't, I mean, we have to do it. Is that the way we have to do it? The town applies and- I don't know. Um, I think probably, I mean, the thing is, is the fire department is their own nonprofit, aren't they, Sarah? Don't they, they have are. a number and stuff? Yeah. So, you know, maybe technically they should do it. Do they have the expertise, do you think, to do it? No, I mean, we'd have to help them. Yeah. I'm just saying you, you, there's just a couple things that need to be in place before they can apply. Like they have to have an account with FEMA and they have to, you know, have a DUNS number and all that. And if they don't have that kind of stuff, it, maybe they can get it. Um, but maybe the town applies. I mean, I can ask the guy what normally happens in those circumstances. So why wouldn't, and I'm just playing the devil's advocate. 
why wouldn't the town own the air tanks? We own the trucks, we own the building, we own... Yeah, so maybe we do own the air tanks then. Maybe we are the um, the grantee. Well, who's going to do the grant? Argument for having um, the fire department rolled into the town as a department as right. opposed to a standalone. Well, it gets back it gets back to that whole question, but to uh, you know, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, for one thing, I don't trust the fire department to do the grant correctly, just to be just to be fair. No, I know. And to administer it and submit the proper paperwork and all that. So I agree. Yeah, it's a pain, but uh, you know, I it's, think we can do it, and especially especially if it's real money, it's well worth uh, it's well <laughs> worth doing. Well, the guy made it sound like he's like you. You should get back. You know, figure out if you have this stuff, and then get back to me asap so we can talk about this application. Like. He sounded like he wanted to be helpful. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure who, you know, I'm happy to sort of get the ball rolling on it. I'm not sure who in the fire department, except maybe Eric. Would I, be think the best Eric I think Eric uh, mm -hmm. lives and I think you should get in touch with Eric. And I think he'd be more than willing and happy to just work with you okay. on that, because I think he's got the wherewithal to do it. Right. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, I you're think... going to need stories like how many how many tanks we have, how many trips we go out on. Well, I think all you these need kinds part... of things are going to need. Well, <laughs> we got we got that report from uh, right. from Jeff, which is a pretty good pretty good indicator. Yeah. I mean, we need to have the air tanks. Nobody's going to dispute that. I don't think. I can't imagine. Yeah, all right. It's a you know a safety issue. So anyway, thank you for doing that, Liz. And let's whatever the next step is, let's. Let's do it. Okay. You know, I'll get in touch with Eric. Eric. You want me to reach out to Eric? No, I can. Um, I mean, I know I know him from my firefighting days. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> he was so, my he was my team lead. So Liz, <laughs> we're waiting Liz, we're waiting to see in the budget your air pack and your turnout gear, Liz. <laughs> right. Um, what's his last name, uh, Steve? Metivier. Heavier. Metivier. Okay. We can send you his email address. Yeah, send me his email. Peter? We'll get it for you. Yes. Yeah, Liz, Liz, I bet there are, are neighboring cities and towns who have done these FEMA grants and could give you help. I think so, show too. You, show you what they do. Yeah, they just are, you know, FEMA grants are notorious for you have to cross every I that needs right. every T and every I needs to be dotted or else you have to return the money. So you have to be really careful. If you cross your I's and dot your T's, you're out of luck. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're fussy, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Very just every mistake you make, just scream COVID as loud as you can. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, any any further uh, budget discussion for this evening? Nope. Nope. Okay, thank you, everybody. So what, what do we have left, Sarah? We have you left, right? Uh, are you talking about budget wise? Yes. Uh, well, we have the zoning left. That's kind of a little up in the air considering our zoning situation is a little up in the air. Um, but uh, so we have the, that's that's still to go in the town offices. And I can't think of anything else. Can you Dorinda? Yes, we have cemetery to go. Oh, I've, right. a, I've asked the listers. They're supposed to have something for the first week in December. Um, let's see, what else have we got? Um, I think that will take care of it. Uh, well, we have the rec committee. Oh. Uh, nope, we already got that, right? I think so. Yep, I already got that one. So we're all set there. So yeah, so we're down to the cemetery <laughs> and listers. Did we have anyone present on the, on the rec committee? Usually, uh, Mitch just submits a uh, little memo. It's not a big deal. Oh, okay. And we can we can make him come. But... Well, it'd be good if he could if he could zoom in just to talk about what projects he's got in the offing. But if he can't, he can't. Okay, I'll just put it in. Perfect. So it's gonna be it's gonna be town office, uh, or the office, um, the listers rec committee and maybe maybe uh um zoning what about 
and cemetery. Cemetery. Oh, right. So I keep for some reason I keep forgetting the cemetery. This COVID thing comes up, we may need our cemeteries. <laughs> Jeez. Watch out. That's a little what? depressing. Yeah. What's Great. the number in Washington County? Two hundred and thirty-nine, or is it higher? It's two hundred and thirty-three in the last two weeks. All I know is we in Orange County are now in the red, having been bragging that we were the lowest, now we're the highest. Thanks to those Halloween parties in Marshfield. Yeah, no, thanks to hockey. The and hockey. the hockey. Yes, I agree. Uh, I think the hockey is the big deal. Yeah. The Halloween party in Marshfield is pretty bad, too. What's it mean? Awful. It gives us one of the highest rates per million in New England now. <laughs> You guys, I'm sorry. What are we talking? This isn't on the agenda. What are we talking about? The budget for the government, like for the um, the. We're the on the off track. We we're talking about the cemetery budget. Needing to get the cemetery budget. I'm sorry, we got a little off. Okay, I'm just we, but we're not talking about like Sarah and Dorinda and all that. That's next time. Next okay, time. that's what I thought. Okay, that's what they were discussing. What's going to be for next? Oh, okay, okay. You missed the transi transition. I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you mean? So I think we are uh, we have completed our budget discussion for the evening. Thank you. Uh, thank you, budget. Meow, meow, thank you, meow, Commission. Meow. Yeah. George and uh, Elias. Thank yep. you. Yeah. Thank. Thanks. Okay. It, it, is your You're right. other I mean, is uh, what's his, you know, the third person on your committee ever going to show up or is he? Uh, Bill could, Bill has a conflict. Oh, but he'll, he'll meet with the budget committee. <laughs> he won't be making the. Uh, for a while. What's that? Uh, okay. Oh, oh. Is there, is there some strange sound coming through here? Oh, is that. Yeah. Somebody, somebody came. Somebody came on, and I don't know if they went off. Well, no. there's someone called Dorinda. And you no, no, me. that's Dorinda. I have a feeling. Have we been? Have we been um, hacked? I think you might have been hacked. Yeah, just delete it. I think it might be Susan. Well, well, there's another Dorinda. No, it's not Susan. There's two Dorindas. Oh, there's two Dorindas. That's there's what I mean. And they were making yeah, the noise. The second Dorinda. They were making a terrible noise. It was scary. I thought it, I thought it was Elias talking to his baby. Oh, that was the second Dorinda. It is the second Dorinda. Now it's another town in Middlesex. Okay, you can delete that one, right? It's yes, really the other town in Middlesex. It's right next. It's another town of Middlesex. Dorinda's gone, and it's town of Middlesex now. I'm town of Middlesex. Middlesex. Knows how to get oh, in. There's, there's two of them. Now it's Peter yeah. Hutt. Now it's Peter oh, Hutt. It's Peter Hutt. I think it's Susan. It's the, someone will just come keep jumping in. I don't know if you can keep them out. Oh yeah, well, look, it's a oh, sad now he's word. Staring. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's Vic. Okay, we look need to get out of this meeting and sign back on. Okay, oh, look at the end the meeting. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.